Hey, what's up guys? If you want to be a great graphic designer, you got to have great tools. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about the tools that you need. We're going to go over the seven tools that I think are absolutely critical for any graphic designer, no matter whether you're self-taught college graphic designer, it doesn't matter who you are. And we're going to jump in and we're going to talk about them. I'm going to cover them and uh, you're going to get some insights on how I use them on a daily basis and to help grow my business. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll right into it. Okay, so the first tool, I'll just pop this out here, is a tablet. This is the brand new iPad Pro. I don't have that fancy keyboard thing, that the magic keyboard that Peter McKinnon got. I got this nice one here. You can charge it up. I really love it. Um, it doesn't really position as well as that magic keyboard, but I use it a lot. Uh, it's a really, really important tool, but you gotta get a tablet. The Apple Pencil you can actually get for this is pretty cheap. Actually, nothing really for Apple is very cheap, but it's about 90 bucks, I think, for the Apple Pencil, and you can actually draw on this. There's apps like Procreate, there's Illustrator apps, there's Photoshop type apps, all kinds of apps that you can use to actually draw directly onto your tablet and create amazing pieces of artwork, graphics, logos, sketches, whatever you want for this. So that's the first thing is a tablet. I think every graphic designer needs to have a good tablet. And if you're not into the iPad, you don't need an iPad, and you wanna do something that's just dedicated to drawing, and it has some nice controls on it because the iPad doesn't have this, is you can get, ha, oh, look at it, I was looking for that. I've been searching around for this for like 30 minutes. Um, so this is actually the Wacom Cintiq pen that comes with it, which is awesome. It's funny that it was in there, holy moly. Um, so this is the Wacom Cintiq pen that comes with it and it's got a bunch of little nibs or tips, if you will, that you can replace in there. There's different colored little spiral things that go around here, but this is really, really good. It has over 2000 sensitivity points on this. It can detect your angles, your leans, your pressures up, down. It works just like a real pencil, if not better. And you know, it's not as, as the texture isn't the same as paper, but you'll get used to it. It's a really great tool. They make them in larger ones. There's people that have done videos where they have like the 20 inch tablets. They're huge. This one I think is like a 14 or uh, 15 inch, something like that. It's not a huge one, but it also comes with a nice stand. And you can see here, there's a couple different points where I can actually drop this thing down and put this, and I'm not gonna do it, but I can drop this down and put it at different heights. So if I want it more tilted up versus tilted down, Wacom Cintiq tablets are awesome. I've been using this thing for a few years now. I haven't used it as often as I wanted to because I've got other ways uh, to do that with the iPad and even my phone, which I'm gonna show you here in just a few minutes. So that's number one. Number two, is Adobe Creative Cloud. If you're a graphic designer, you should really be using Adobe. Uh, I'm not an affiliate of theirs. Uh, I'm not getting paid for any of this stuff, but I just really love Adobe as a company. I even own some of their stock. Uh, they have amazing assortment of tools. They've even added on marketing experience. You got Photoshop, Illustrator, Adobe Acrobat, Premiere, Audition, all of those programs that I use on a regular basis. And they're just becoming a better and better company. And the Creative Cloud membership is gonna cost you. The days of pirating the Adobe software are over, I feel. I don't think that's the right way to do business anyway, but I think everybody should get Adobe Creative Cloud. And there's even some add-ons like Adobe Stock for like 30 bucks a month, you get like I think 30 images or something around there. It's just a really good tool to have. You wanna use Adobe Stock. Um, it's just a valuable resource. You can pull all kinds of photos, images, illustrations, icons. It's just a really, really great resource. And then you can build up your own portfolio of stuff once you license them. Number three is your computer itself. Having a great computer as a graphic designer is very important. Now, I'll say this. When I first started, I couldn't afford a MacBook Pro. Couldn't afford a MacBook Air. So I did not have the money to go buy a very expensive computer. But what I knew I did need was a very good graphics card in a computer. So I think my first one was like an Acer and it had a gig of dedicated video memory. You need to make sure that if you're gonna buy a PC based kind of laptop, um, that's gonna be like AMD or Intel, something like that, that it's got a good graphics card inside of it so that you can process some of the images, the graphics, even videos that you're gonna do on there, and then it can keep up with that. That's the great thing about the MacBook Pro is it doesn't really have a problem keeping up with what I do. Now, as my career has developed, I've made great money, and I've continued to invest into great tools like this. Now I'm all MacBook Pro. Next step for me is the iMac. So I'm gonna get one for myself. I'm gonna get one for Ian. Just a really good tool for you to get. You really need to invest in a good computer. This is your lifeblood. This is your income more than anything else we're gonna talk about today. Having a great computer is essential. You have to have a great computer. Fast graphics, 
good, good displays. And having a laptop like this is great because I can take it with me wherever I want to go out on the about. And so this is a really good tool to have. And then, like I said, making sure that you can pair that with Adobe Creative Cloud uh, will be really, really helpful. Okay. So number four is external solid state drives. You can get a regular external drive, but I'll tell you right now, I've had half a dozen of them and every single time I get one, I drop them and they go bad every time and I lose everything that's on them. So now when you got a solid state drive, just like what's in this MacBook Pro, it's not a traditional hard drive. When you got a solid state drive, you can take this with you on the go. If I drop it on the ground, I'm not gonna be stressing out and worried that I just lost everything that's on it. Some of these are really huge. Like this one right here is a one terabyte. I have this one here that is a 500 gigabyte, so half a terabyte. And then I don't even know how big, this is like one of my first ones that I bought. This one's 500 gigs too. So I have two terabytes worth of information just on these three. And I just bought another one that I believe is two terabytes by itself. These are really, really great to have. I also use the SD cards, the mini SDs that go on the camera uh, very often because I have the slot here on my computer, but those get filled up and they also break. They're very fragile. So you want to have something that you can back up all of your stuff aside from like Dropbox and uh, you know the online cloud storage. You want to have some cold storage where you can put your files, put your information, all of your artwork, all of your client stuff. So that if anything ever happens, you got backups of all of it. Now the next thing, and this is, you'll see here, I got this wire coming out because it's connected to my phone, is your cell phone. I want to encourage you to get a really, really nice cell phone. Um, this is the Galaxy Note 8, so it's a few years old. It's outdated at this point, but it still works great. As you can see here, as an artist like I am, uh, I like to draw little sketches or come up with logos for clients, and I'm doing like little labyrinths and coming up with designs. I can do all kinds of cool stuff with this because it has a pen. If you'll notice, I've talked about a pen quite a few times in this video. As an artist, if you are an artist, you want to have a pen around. It's just well, your creative brain, when you're drawing, you're coming up with sketching ideas. Even when my team is doing graphic design projects for me, and I'm not doing the designs myself, which is more often than not, about 90% of the time, I need to be able to sketch out on those designs that they send me, the changes, the revisions, changes this, fix that, taking screen shots, you know, uh, circling things. This pen has been really, really helpful for me. So my next phone that I get is definitely gonna have a, a pen in it as well. I won't get one unless it does. Uh, it's important that you have a good phone because the phone is also, like your laptop, the lifeblood. This is where you're gonna be able to send text messages, you're gonna put, send out emails, you're gonna put out phone calls, you're gonna get business in the door. Your phone is your money maker. This is the execution and this is how you bring the work in. So it's really important that you have both of these things. You have all of these things. Like I said, all seven of these tools are very, very important. Um, and then the last one, and these are actually the last two, is a desk. You wanna make sure that you have a good desk that you're working at. A lot of people go rinky dink and go cheap on their desks, but desks are really important. I have this desk, I love this because of a couple things. One is it does this, see that? It's a variable desk. And they have different brands, different companies that make desks. Um, it's just helpful to be able to sit or stand, these sit stand desks. Uh, but, but I like it because it's versatile. It, it adapts to what I'm feeling at the moment. If I've been sitting all day long, I'm just tired of sitting. It helps me with not only my performance and efficiency, but it helps me with my actual physical body. I can actually get up, stand up, stretch, and it's better because we're sitting in front of a computer most of the time, almost all day for some of us. So it's just really important that you get a good desk. And then along with the desk, you need a good chair. And I, I know this is probably almost out of the shot here, but you need a good chair. And a chair like this is ergonomic. It's got all the different settings, the height, I can adjust the back, the incline, all of that. I spent a couple hundred bucks on this chair um, at Costco. It was a really great deal, uh, but it's super comfortable. I can sit in this thing for six hours and not even realize. So I, I get up every, every 30, 45 minutes, but still it's a great desk to, or great chair to use. And it's just something that you need to have. You need to have a great desk, great chair, great computer, Wacom Cintiq tablets or iPads, a great phone, you gotta get the right software, and then you need to have some storage. You gotta have some good storage to be able to back your stuff up because you can't just depend on Dropbox or Google Drive to have all of your information. What if something goes wrong? What if they get hacked? There's been a lot of hacking going on. So you wanna make sure you protect your clients, you protect yourself. Can you imagine having to recreate all the work that you did for clients because it all disappeared? That would suck, I've had to do it before. And then I wanted to throw you a little bonus. Lucky number seven for many people, but my number, is eight. Last thing I wanted to show you is a battery backup. These things are awesome because battery backups like this one, see how big it is? It's literally almost the same, actually basically the same size as my phone. I can charge my phone three times on this. It's got two ports so I can actually charge two devices at the same time. I usually use it for my tablet 
um, and I usually use it for my phone more than anything. So these are a great, great resource for you as well. If you're out and about a lot and you're a freelancer and you're traveling, I have a lot of friends of mine that are graphic designers that travel, you need to have a good battery backup. I'm actually probably gonna buy a second one of these because they're only like 10 bucks. I think I got this for like 9.99 at Walmart. And uh, it's just a good thing to have that extra power source. If you're out and about, you may be using Hotspot. And if you know about Hotspot, it drains the battery on your phone. So you wanna be able to have something you can plug your phone into to give yourself internet for a long enough period of time. So those are all the things I wanted to share for you or with you today. Um, these are just great tools to have. Every graphic designer needs one, web designer, any creative person should have these devices. Um, and just being able to have the outlet to be able to create, design, draw, and uh, create your magic. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you like this video, if you're using any of these, let me know. Um, if there's a tool that I didn't include in here that you think should be included, I can do an expanded version of this later on, but I'd love to hear from you. So make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share this with a friend. Uh, I wanna keep this thing going. So thank you guys so much for your support, for watching today. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.